Hi, this is Courtney Long, Angel Communicator and Life Purpose Intuitive. Welcome to this week's Angel and Fairy Insights for the week of August 21st through the 27th and happy solar eclipse. Very powerful solar eclipse that we are experiencing right now. It's just a beautiful, beautiful time, time of change and transformation and lots of intense energy. So I'm curious what you've been experiencing. This week we're working with the Magic of Crystals Crystal Knowledge Deck by my friend Charles McAlpin of Storm Wisdom, which is a center for intentional living in Phoenix, Arizona. These cards are amazing, especially if you love crystals. And I'm calling on God, Source, Spirit, Universe, our angels and fairies of light. Oops, okay, I guess this is one of our cards asking for guidance for this coming week. And here are our two cards hilarious the first one ooh, is one of my favorite crystals it's celestite celestite and the meaning is around imagination and the synopsis says a celestite is a good stone to work with in order to connect with higher realms especially the angelic realms it is ideal for helping you to connect with and stay in the moment celestite has a calming energy that allows you to express yourself without getting caught in tumultuous situations and the properties are higher guidance intuition and communication and the angels are coming in very strongly in a very gentle but very poignant way and they have a message for you and and I know you're here to receive messages from them there's something very specific for your life that is it's like they're showing me water being splashed in your face it's like a wake-up call um, something that is awakening within you it could be a change that you're being guided to create in your life it could be becoming more aware of who you truly are especially on a soul level what your purpose is the angels are right there with you stronger than ever guiding you and supporting you and they have a very important message for you so even in this moment let's just actually let's just close our eyes for a moment and we're just going to tune in and allow the angels to talk to us so if you are up for this and you're in a safe place not if you're driving but if you're in a safe place where you can close your eyes go ahead and just close your eyes take a nice deep breath and we call on the angels of light that are around us supporting us thanking them for their presence. Just take a moment to set aside anything that's on your mind, any stress. Imagine you've got a big box next to you where you can place any stress. Just set it aside. And just imagine a beautiful light within your body and around your body. Your whole body lit up with light within. And imagine a bubble of light all around you and we call on the beautiful angels of light who are here supporting you, they've got a message for you. So we ask them to come close and just let yourself listen. What do your angels want you to know? What do they want you to know? Just take a nice deep breath. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. So usually communication from the angels is very fast. It's very to the point. And they might show you an image. They might um, whisper words in your ears. So it could just show up as a thought within your mind or a feeling. And, and if you didn't receive anything, that's okay. It will come to you later. You've just asked the angels, what do you want me to know? So they're gonna be talking to you and even throughout the rest of this video and throughout the rest of your day. So allow the angels to communicate with you, create space for them to be able to do that. So whether it's your meditation or something simple like what we just did. And if you're guided to work with this gorgeous crystal celestite, so, so beautiful. Okay, let's see what the next card is oh my gosh very cool this card I, this is interesting it's not a crystal card I've never even seen this card in the deck so this is a surprise to me this card is energy centers and this is a card that helps you understand your energy centers or your chakras and so um, 
So the, the message that's coming through, the reason that, that this card has come up is it's about balancing your energy centers and really honoring your light body. Honoring your light body, your energy field, your aura, your essence, your light. So of course we do so much wonderful thing, so many wonderful things to take care of our physical body, like eating, drinking, sleeping, brushing our teeth, you know, taking showers, bathing, all of those things. What are you doing for your energy body? What are you doing for your aura, your energy field, which is, it's your light, it's your essence, it's your soul's light. And it's within your whole body and it also extends beyond your body. Very huge, this gorgeous, gorgeous aura that you have. And so what are you doing to take care of your energy field? Are you um, meditating? Are you doing clearing or shielding? Or as I like to call it, cushioning, where you cushion yourself with light. Are you centering yourself and grounding and rooting into the earth? So take good care of your energy field as a whole, but also tune in. I'm gonna actually just read through the meanings of the different chakras, and you might be familiar with them or not, but just notice which ones stand out to you, which ones are areas that you're really being guided to focus on this week. Okay, so first we have our root chakra at our base, base chakra, and that's safety and security. Also, money, finances, the, the feeling of safety and foundation. Our sacral chakra, the second chakra, reproductive area, it's pleasure and creativity. Pleasure and creativity, also the area of receiving and enjoyment of life. Solar plexus in our upper stomach, the third chakra, it's the full spectrum of emotions, the full spectrum of emotions, your power center, your, your self-worth, your self-esteem. Does that area need a little attention this week? Or your heart area for unconditional love and connection and relationships and also emotions? Or your throat, does that need a little attention this week? Your self-expression? or your third eye, wisdom and intuition, spiritual sight, or your crown, spirituality, and higher guidance. Which one of those seven really stood out to you as needing a little more love and care and attention this week? And then the angels, they're so sweet. They're just saying, go for it. Do something to honor that chakra this week. Let's say, for instance, you want to focus on your root chakra and you want to feel safe or secure. Well, how can you feel safe? What's going to help you to feel that sense of safety? Can you um, do something for your physical body, like maybe have um, some time to relax or cuddle up with a blanket? Would that help you feel safe? Get into the vibration that you want to feel around that particular chakra. Very, very cool. Let's just say you're focusing on your heart chakra this week. Then how can you feel more loving? What can you do or how can you be to feel more open-hearted and loving? But whatever you're focusing on, see what you're guided to do with that. And then overall, the angels and fairies are saying, have fun, have fun. This is a week of celebration. It's a week of, there's definitely like a, a, um, a barrier to kind of break through this week. They're definitely showing a breakthrough energy. So it's going to take a little bit of effort, but you've been building up to it the whole past month or the whole year, really. <laughs> the whole, you know, your whole life you've been building up to it. But like there's something that you're going to be breaking through this week. So, but it's almost like you're so close, it's not gonna take that much effort. Little effort, but you're just right there on the verge of this breakthrough, but it's time to celebrate and create that breakthrough through celebration and through love and through fun and joy and, and, and laughter. Okay, okay, that's the message for this week. A little different this week, right? We did a little meditation, just a short one to tune in to a message from the angels. And we talked about our chakras. Thank you to Charles for creating these gorgeous cards. So beautiful. And yes, I'm seeing if there's anything else. They're just saying, the angels are saying they love you so, so much. They absolutely love and adore you. Yay. If you've enjoyed this video, if you know someone who would benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my website to check out the latest free gift. And the website is CourtneyLongAngels.com. And also I have a new online class for you called Activate Your Faith with Archangel Galadriel. Galadriel is one of my favorite archangels. She helps us to be in the flow, to really raise our vibration, to be in high vibes, and to, to feel that sense of trust and flow with the divine order of what we're being guided to do, like the flow of our intuition. 
so so beautiful you can check that out at the info or the link below <laughs> and i hope you enjoy a beautiful beautiful week i'd love to hear from you what stood out to you in this week's message so please comment below and i'll talk to you soon